Today I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to set up a Cloud P2P account off of the IVMS 4500 app on a mobile device and how simple and easy it is to use. First thing we're going to do is get our camera set up onto our network. Now that your camera is set up on your network, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up Cloud P2P on the camera itself. First thing you need to do is open up the SADP tool and locate the IP address of your camera. Open up Internet Explorer and type in that IP address in the search bar. Log in. And you will see a live view of your camera. Here in live view, you're going to go to configuration. First thing you need to check is your system settings. There you'll need to have the firmware updated to 5.4.1 and a build to December 21st, 2016 or the Cloud P2P feature will not be available on the camera itself. Once your camera is completely up to date, you're going to go into network and you'll go to TCP IP. Make sure DHCP is turned off and at the bottom you will see DNS server. In the preferred DNS server you will type 8.8.8.8. .8 In the alternate DNS server you are going to type 8.8.4.4. Save those settings. In the same section you will locate NAT. Make sure that UPnP is turned off or Cloud P2P will not work. Once that is disabled, you're going to go into Advanced Settings and then Platform Access. If not already checked, make sure that Cloud P2P is enabled and then Save. This is where you will be scanning your QR code for the Cloud P2P account. Refresh the page after enabling it and saving. And you'll see your register status is online. After you've enabled Cloud P2P on your camera's IP address, you are going to need to download the IVMS 4500 app onto your cell phone. Once you have it downloaded, you're going to enter the app and you'll be taken to a live view screen. Go to the circle on the top left and click on Cloud P2P. In the Cloud P2P section, the very bottom is going to ask you to register. You'll click there. In the register section, it will ask you for an email address. The email address I would suggest using something very common. And then the verification code you're going to enter is going to be on the right side. Enter that, and then after you've entered all this information, you're going to click Get Verification Code. The Get Verification Code will be sent to the email address that you used in that section where it said Enter Email. The verification code that you'll enter is to verify the email account. Once you have verified the email account and typed in the verification code, it will ask you to create a username and password. After you've created your account, you're going to go ahead and log in, and then you're going to see your Cloud P2P section on your phone. From here, you're going to click the circle in the top right, the plus button, and the scanner is going to show up, and you're going to use this scanner to scan the QR code that's displayed on the camera's IP address. It will automatically grab it, and then right here is going to be the model number of the camera. You're going to select the plus button, and here it's going to ask for a verification code. The verification code will be displayed in the same section on the platform access on the camera's IP address. Go ahead and type that in, and then select confirm. Once that's done, another model number will show up. It's going to be the same model number of the camera. Click there, and then start live view. It will ask you for the verification of code again. Confirm that. And it will load just for a little bit. And now you have a live view from your camera. Now that you know how simple it is to 
get a camera to work on Cloud P2P. I'm going to show you how simple it is to get an NVR to work with Cloud P2P. After hooking up your NVR to your network, you're going to go into Menu by right-clicking on the attached monitor, and you will need an attached monitor to get the Cloud P2P to work for the NVRs. Go to Menu, Configuration. In Configuration, you're going to go to Network. Network, again, make sure that Enable DHCP is turned off. On the preferred DNS server, you are going to type in 8.8.8.8. In the alternate DNS server, you're going to type in 8.8.4.4 and apply. Once this is done, make sure to go to NAT and uncheck UPnP. Apply. From here, you'll go to Platform Access. Platform Access, you have to enable the Cloud P2P. And then just hit Apply. And right click out of the menu. And you go back, and it will show you back in Platform Access that the Cloud P2P is online. From here, you're going to pull out the IVMS 4500 app on your phone again. You should already be logged into your Cloud P2P account. Click on the plus button and a QR scanner is going to show up. You will then scan the QR code on the attached monitor. And if this doesn't work, you can go to the top right with the pencil icon and it's going to ask for the nine digit serial number. You can find the nine digit serial number in the menu, maintenance, system info, and then your serial number is going to be the nine digit code between the four letters in the middle and the four letters at the end. You're going to type in this nine digit code there. Click search, and then your NVR is going to show up there on the bottom. Click on the plus button and it will ask you for the verification code. You will then go back to the menu, then go to configuration again, network, platform access, and your verification code is going to be right here where it's above status online. Type in that verification code. It is case sensitive so make sure that you have your caps on. Type the verification code in there and select confirm. Oops. Once that's done, your model number for your NVR will show up again. Click on that. And then down here at the bottom, it will say start live view. And you now have a live view of the camera.